So tonight, Gabriel Gagas is taking a closer look at the differences between the doses. Now that a third vaccine is rolling out soon, you may have questions about the two different technologies used to administer them. The Moderna and Pfizer vaccines both use what's called a messenger RNA, also called mRNA vaccines. Here's how it works. The CDC says to trigger an immune response, the mRNA vaccine gives instructions for our cells to make a harmless piece of what's called the spike protein, which is found on the surface of the virus that causes COVID-19. My mind like putting a USB in a computer and the computer sees that there's a program there and it runs it. Says Dr. Paul Schultz, who's a Norton Healthcare Infectious Disease Specialist. Well, the one truth about that is that we don't have as much experience with that technology um, versus the viral vector vaccine technology. Viral vector is the vaccine technology that Janssen will use, the company that owns Johnson & Johnson. When injected, this one will not use the virus that causes COVID-19. Instead, a different harmless virus will enter a cell in our body and then use it to produce a harmless piece of virus that causes COVID-19, according to the CDC. Schultz says more people have been in trial for the viral vector technology compared with the mRNA, and it's also been used for other vaccines like Ebola. Schultz, who was a sub investigator in a clinical trial for the Johnson and Johnson vaccine, says his patients have reported more side effects from the mRNA. And this is just anecdotally. I've had people tell me who had COVID that the side effects I had from the vaccine were similar or, you know, in their opinion, worse. And that doesn't mean that you shouldn't get vaccinated, but it does mean that some people may struggle with that. Johnson and Johnson vaccines effectiveness is a lower percentage compared with Pfizer's and Moderna's. So why will they administer one dose instead of two? Schultz says they're still learning about that. For the Janssen product, it may be that we find out later on that two doses didn't significantly change the efficacy. Norton Healthcare says people cannot choose which vaccine to get, but before they get their shot, they'll know which one they're getting. The best vaccine is the one you have the chance to get to get. During a pandemic, you don't want to be too choosy about uh, what vaccine you get to the point that you end up delaying immunization. For WHS 11 News, I'm Sanai Gerber-Gedigas.